Infiltration of the Robinsons, a bloody chapter in the succession wars of the Polarians. The Polarian succession wars started at the height of the Polarian mass migration wave. Scores of Planarian families launched into space to be the first to colonize New Polaris in order to lay claim to the power in the New World, for old Polaris was in ruins. Runaway climate change, corrupt government systems, and unsustainable practices had resulted in environmental, political, and social chaos, so many Polarians decided it was time for a fresh start in a new world. But old habits die hard, and enemies die easily, and so, even though they wanted a new world, the Polarians were up to their usual tricks. Instead of cooperating on establishing a new home that served all Polarians, the most powerful families tried to reach the new home first in order to establish control for their benefit only. And the two most powerful families with the best chances of seizing control at this time were the sworn enemy clans, the Robinsons and the Seagullisons. The Seagullison family had been central to the ruin of old Polaris. They were firm believers that everything in the world was theirs. They believed themselves to be superior to all other Polarians' families and were ruthless and cruel in their rule. Given a choice, the Polarians would have preferred the Robinsons gain control on new Polaris. At least the Robinsons did not treat their subjects with such contempt and cruelty. The Seagullisons knew that the other Polarians were supporting the Robinsons. They knew that masses of Polarians had banded together and financially funded the Robinson ship. In exchange, the Robinsons had committed to governmental reform if they reached New Polaris first. This meant that the Robinsons were traveling in a better ship and were likely to beat the Seagullisons. But the Seagullisons devised a nasty plan. They killed a member of the Robinsons family and placed an imposter in its place. After all, all the Polarians looked the same, so who would know? Once in space, the imposter set about sabotaging the ship. But alas, one day a member of the Robinson family came upon the Seagullison imposter hacking into a computer. The Seagullison ruthlessly killed the poor, unsuspecting Robinson and fled the scene. And so, the Robinson family was alerted and a meeting was called. Chickadee was the youngest member of the Robinson family. As panic spread through the Robinson ship, Chickadee sprang into action. She downloaded the medical data from the med base computer scans. She knew that even though all crew members might look the same on the outside, an analysis of their medical data would reveal the imposter. Chickadee analyzed the medical data using a pedigree chart and conclusively identified the imposter. Using her analysis, she convinced the rest of the Robinson family of the identity of the imposter. And after a unanimous vote, the Robinson family mercilessly spaced the imposter. And thus, the Robinsons were the first to land in New Polaris. And as they were beholden to the general public, they ushered in the first democratic system for the Polarians. The system was not perfect, but things were better than before, and over the centuries the government of new players improved little by little. Sadly, some of the records of the Robinson's trip were lost over time, but happily, the medical records downloaded by Chickadee have recently been recovered. The records are in the link below. As a genetic historian, it is your duty to analyze this record and identify the imposter for our museum. Please have your analysis done for our next team meeting. We will be voting on the identity of the imposter.